Live from KTVN Reno, you're watching 2 News at 7. Oh, chain controls are back in effect over parts of I-80. We have a look at the forecast still ahead, but first... A National Wildlife Refuge is meant to protect wildlife, not the military. Nevadans speaking out about a resolution that aims to protect a wildlife refuge in southern Nevada. This story tops 2 News at 7 o'clock. Good evening, I'm Landon Miller. I'm Ariana Bennett. Thank you for keeping it here. Now, there is a joint resolution that's been introduced in the state legislature. It's aimed at protecting the Desert National Wildlife Refuge on the northern boundary of the Las Vegas Valley. Now, Chris Buckley was at a public hearing on that resolution this afternoon. Chris, the issue is military expansion into that area, right? That's right. It's right by Nellis Air Force Base. The boundaries of the bombing range overlap with the refuge. Now the Air Force wants to take over another quarter million acres. That wildlife area is the largest of its kind in the lower 48 states, and Nevada lawmakers are urging Congress to oppose that expansion. Now the Desert National Wildlife Refuge is home to one of the largest populations of bighorn sheep in Nevada. And environmental groups say the proposed expansion of the Nevada Test and Training range would close off hundreds of thousands of acres to the public as well as through traffic on Alamo Road and add more than a hundred miles of fencing endangering wildlife. All the citizens that showed up for public comment in Carson City and Las Vegas at the beginning of tonight's meeting were there in favor of the resolution that's opposing that expansion. I think people realize that public access is really important and there's got to be a better way to work with the military cooperatively to find a way where they can accomplish their missions but the public can still have access to their public lands. The military has 2.9 million acres already there. It's a lot. The Senate hearing was tonight. There will be a similar hearing before an assembly committee tomorrow at 4 in the afternoon. The hope is the resolution and reaction from residents will resonate from lawmakers with lawmakers at the federal level. Covering the story live in the newsroom, Chris Buckley, 2 News.